This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Chuck is in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hi, Chuck. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you, Mr. Ramsey? Thanks for taking my call. My pleasure. What's up? Well, I uh considering paying off two vehicles that I have and my home, and my wife has been pushing me to do this, and I'm wondering if it's a good idea. Uh, paying off two vehicles and paying off your home, is it a good idea? Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, <laughs> no, it, it would be coming out of my IRA, so oh. I'd be paying taxes on it. But, oh. So that's okay. part of it. How, how old are you? I'm 65, and my wife is 67. And how much would it take to pay off your vehicles? If I, well, the two vehicles, uh, I'd have to, it'd be 30000 Okay, and how much to pay off your house? 32000 that'd be forty. Forty on the house? So, yeah, so it'd be, I figured it'd be 80000 for my IRA to pay so off. 70, so 70000 plus taxes? Correct. Okay, correct. and how much is in your uh, total nest egg? I have about 15000 in non-taxable savings mm-hmm. and um, oh, probably... Nine hundred eighty thousand dollars in annuities uh, and two different investment companies. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. So you're a millionaire. Way to go! Well, <laughs> close, but uh, yeah. No, you are. I mean, yeah, you've got you. equity in your house too. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. you're, you have a net worth well, of over a million dollars. What's grand. your home worth? Probably about three hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay, so you're worth about a million too. Good for you. Yep. Well done. Oh, well, thank you. Well done. So I've been, my son has been pushing me. I, I call him Dave Ramsey Jr. because he's been listening to your program. And so these people are all, and, and your wife is telling you to do this also, or you're wanting to do this? She's been wanting to do this. My son has been convincing me to do this based on your, but he told me I should get okay. your opinion. Okay, I got you. All right. Yeah. So, well, the answer to the question is, is pretty simple, is I, I would pay off the car in the house by morning. Uh, before okay. the close, before the close of business today, no question, because you'd have nine hundred thousand left over, and everything's paid for. Now, yeah. but the the more importantly than what Dave Ramsey thinks, because it's not really an issue, it is why would you do that? Well, well, the, number <laughs> number one question is why would you not do that? What's the downside? There's not really a downside. If your I, home I was paid for and your cars were paid for and you had 900000 in in your investments, you wouldn't go borrow 80000 to enhance your investments. No. Well, in <laughs> essence, it's the same thing. And regardless of low interest rates and things like that. Well, I mean, you, you wouldn't go borrow regardless of low interest rates. Yeah. That's true. You, yeah. you know, and so I'll, by asking the question in reverse, that's called a sunk cost analysis. It makes me think, oh, yeah, I need to pay it off. And for the very reasons that I wouldn't go borrow if it was all paid for on it to enhance my investments, it's the same reasons I'm going to cash out $80,000 worth of the investments to be debt free. It's the exact same analysis. Yeah. Okay. And, and I mean, so. My wife and I- and the other thing is, it's if if, if I'm wrong and your son's wrong and your wife's wrong, and you hate being debt free, you can go back in debt. <laughs> no, no interest in it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it's not hard. You yeah. know that you're a millionaire. No, you can just true. call up the banker and yeah. you'd have a mortgage okay. by the end of the next day, right? <laughs> They would yeah. love to loan and, and, you money, dude. You're like you're like the kind of guy they're after, right? So what makes you not, Chuck? What makes you not want to do it? It's just because the car payments it's not painful well, every month. You just don't care. I guess paying the taxes. No, oh, I hate it too. Instead mm-hmm. of leaving it and com- compounding in the mutual funds, and yeah, sure, that sure. That's, that's, yeah, I, you're, that's, yeah. And truthfully, it's that you've protected that nest egg like like an eagle. I mean, you wouldn't let nothing near that nest egg, and you're and that's same, and that's how it got to be freaking nine hundred eighty grand, right? Because you protected mm-hmm. it, you put money in it, you kept putting money in it, you, you've kept your claws out. Nobody's touching this, and now these people are trying to get you to touch it, and you're going, I don't think so. This is not how I got here, and so that's <laughs> you know, truthfully, you're you yeah. know, mm-hmm. one of your greatest strengths is is. Um, turning into a bit of a weakness in this particular discussion. But but I'm so proud of you. you, you I, I'm assuming you didn't inherit a bunch of money. I'm assuming you did all this on your own. 
Yeah, my wife and I worked and um, put a dent, a uh, deep, a significant amount in my IRA. And the last four or five years that I worked, I maxed it out as much as I could. Yeah, it's great. I'm so, so proud. It's of awesome, Chuck. I wanted well to done. pay it off before I was done working, but I didn't. Yeah. So here I am. But yeah. And, 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 and I'll give you one last thing for the people out there listening and for you too. Something else is going to happen here that you hadn't even thought about because it, it, the, the debt is so small as a part of what you're doing. I mean, it's like buying a biscuit, you know, and it's like, <laughs> okay. I mean, we're talking about what compared to, compared to your total nest egg. I mean, you got a million, three okay. million, two, and we're taking 80 grand. Okay, yeah. We're taking 80 grand. Yeah, so it's so right. small, it's irrelevant, really, mathematically speaking. But what you're not going to see coming is uh, about three weeks after you pay this house off, you're going to wake up and go, I can breathe a little deeper. Yeah. Because the, yeah, gets... yeah, the borrower is slave to the lender, and you, you're, you're not going to be a slave anymore. And you're going to be able to feel that down inside. You'll physically feel it, probably. Because you've been so long at this, and now it's like, whew, last step. Yeah. And there's a relaxing, no there's bank a peace. in your life. There's it's a amazing. peace that goes with it. Yeah, and and just to say it out loud, people probably know, but even for those that are listening, they're newer. We say don't take money out of your retirement to pay off debt, but he's of age. When you're past fifty nine and a half, yeah, then you're able to take money out. Yes, yeah. he's still going to be taxed on it because it's a traditional IRA. But if you're not, if you're younger than nine, 59 and a half, no. you don't touch your retirement to no. pay off debt. And if your nest egg's too small. Yes. If your nest egg was 120,000, I wouldn't pull 80 out of it. Yep, that's right. I wouldn't Because you do have that. to live on that on retirement. I might sell the cars. Yep. But, but I'm not pulling 80 out of, of 120. So the point is, it, it's a very small, it's more of a theoretical and emotional discussion mm -hmm. for him than it is mathematical because it's just yep. such a small percentage. Yep. So the math really is irrelevant in this. It's more of a, man, I, have to, I, I, have did, to actually, I did it. I, I did it. Yeah, I, hit, yeah. I became a millionaire in America as a working man, and I saved my money. And we piled up a bunch of money in the last few years of work, he said. And I'm not touching that. And now I am going to touch it to, yeah, to pull and, the money and, out. And, so but that's he emotional. did it. And now I'm debt free, and the house is paid for, yep. and the cars are paid for. It's like touchdown. Yep. Touchdown, baby. I mean, you just That's broke great. the tape on the marathon after 26.3 <laughs> miles. You just broke the tape. You leaned into it, baby. Well done. Touchdown. I love it. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about investing, visit RamseySolutions.com slash investing or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvestor.